What's up, y'all? AJ Simmons checking in with another video, another podcast. And I got a question from Easy8123 on my Instagram, and he asked, how did I grow my business to the level that it is today? So let's talk about it. And I think the first thing that I need to point out is my business today is Clean Biz Network. We aren't currently a cleaning company. We'll, we'll get back into that industry soon. But for now, we basically, we're a telemarketing company with our lead generation service. We are a uh, consulting service through our courses. And then we also do some uh, shipping as well with our starter kits. All right. So a couple of different facets of the business. Then we also have an app, the Calculated Clean app, which is available for free up for download in the Google Play Store. Uh, you can go to calculatedclean.com if you don't have uh, Android, all right? But anyway, so that's my current business, right? And what happened was I grew this business to the level because this business right now was actually twice the size as my cleaning company was. And the way that I grew this business so fast was because I just applied the principles that I used to grow fast in my cleaning company. And all of the, the lessons that I learned from my cleaning company, which was to hire as soon as possible, to automate, to put systems in place, all right? To be aggressive when trying to grow. Look for customers, get on the phone, you know what I mean? Just hire, like that was the number one thing. Like when I realized that with cleaning, that I could grow faster by not cleaning, that I just that just hit me like, you know what? Wow, that, that applies in every sector of business that there is. So that's why the very first service that really took off Clean Biz Network was the lead generation service. I never did one real cold call before I started a cold call company, okay? I hired people who had experience in it. I wrote the script, and I told them what to say. And I told them, you know, what to offer, et cetera, et cetera, how it worked. And they went and they did the job. So I trained the people, kind of gave them an idea of what I was looking for, and then they, they made the thing come to life pretty much. So my point is, don't wait to hire. Don't think you need to save up so much. As a matter of fact, I sold the service before I had the people in place to hire, okay? So that's why I say that you guys should be recruiting people at the same time, but while you're also looking for customers. So go out and start looking for some customers, all right? Get out there and, and push yourself, and don't be scared to tackle the big jobs, all right? Tackle those big jobs even if you don't have the employees yet lined up to clean them because you can hurry up and go find them just like I did with my lead generation service, all right? So get the funds first. That way you can kind of have that in place to have your, uh, that way you know how you're going to cover your employee overhead, all right? Now, to get into that, though, because the philosophies are interchangeable, but I want to go a little bit more detail to cleaning business specific, all right? So let's talk about my cleaning company before I sold it, all right? How I grew that, first of all, I understand that I was with a cleaning franchise. I don't recommend that you get in a cleaning franchise today. I only did it out of ignorance, number one. And then number two, I did it because I was scared, okay? I was spending my last little uh, thousands of dollars of money, and I wanted to make sure that I got some type of return. The franchise guaranteed that they would give me some type of return versus if I went independent, nobody was guaranteeing me anything. And you got to remember, Clean Biz Network did not exist, so I didn't have me to, you know, to look at on YouTube and buy my starter kit or any of that stuff. So I didn't have any other resources, so that was why I chose to go with the franchise. So some of the ways that I was able to grow my company was obviously, uh, I'll tell you the quick ways with the franchise, and I'll go a little bit more uh, for things that can apply for independent as well. But with my franchise, I was able to grow, number one, by buying other people's franchises, all right? So I would mass email all the different franchise owners and ask who was looking to sell their franchise or who was looking to sell their accounts, uh, things like that. And then I would get out there, and I would uh, buy them up, whether I bought it up in cash or whether I bought it in sweat equity. And what I mean by sweat equity is, Hey, I work those those buildings that friend the, the buildings that you have in your company. I work them for free for about two months or three months, and then it's mine after that. So that's how I bought. That's one way that I grew fast. Another way that I grew fast is I kept a great working relationship with the franchise I was with. This video that you see on the screen here, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see this lady. This lady that you see on the screen right now, she's actually the rep who was uh, in place when I was with the franchise, and she. I had her, I asked her to come out and help train some of my employees because this, this video that you're watching is one of the videos that we were training up our people just to do a final detailed uh, training for them because I was about to move to Florida. So I wanted to make sure that my ducks were in a row, all my systems were in place because I was going to be operating my company from a distance, right? So my, my company uh, ran in Virginia. I moved to Florida. 
All right. And so obviously I already did always train my employees. However, and excuse me, my workers, because they weren't employees, they were workers, 1099 workers. All right. But I always did train my workers myself. However, I wanted them to get used to seeing the Jam Pro rep more because, uh, Jam, you know, franchises will inspect your accounts. All right. And so they typically didn't inspect my accounts anymore compared to, you know, how much they might inspect somebody else's because they knew that I always had things under control. But I, I, I kind of got with the franchise and let them know, like, hey, I want y'all to kind of, you know, look out the mind more because I won't be here. So that's how she came out and did this big training for everybody for me and, and, and helped me out with that. So that was one of the ways I was able to grow, too, was having a good relationship with them. So whenever I wanted more business, I was just going there, let them know, and then within a month or so, I always had more more business. All right. Um, what else did I do other than buying accounts, buying franchises, uh, and then I got out there and I actually did got contracts on my own. So I went door to door a lot in the industrial park area. Me and my wife, we got out there with flyers and went door to door to door to door, passing out flyers until we can get a walkthrough set up. And once we got the walkthrough, we pretty much could seal the deal at that point. So. That was another way that we got customers. Another way that we got customers was able to grow was um, me volunteering in the city, all right? So I always was involved in the city, always volunteering on nonprofit boards and stuff, and I uh, used to meet people. So when I would meet people, other business owners in the area, I would tell them what I do and offer my service. And a lot of times, sometimes I didn't even offer my service. They would offer it to me just because they liked my attitude, all right? so. Put yourself out there. Create that personal brand. I talk about personal brand a lot in my group and a lot out here as well. Create that personal brand and not just on the internet. A lot of people think that a personal brand only applies to the internet. I was creating that brand everywhere I went. So everybody in my city knew that I was the guy, the business guy, I was posting about business on Facebook. Then they also knew that he was the guy with the cleaning business. All right. So when you're always on people's minds and you're always in people's uh, face and you're posting every day, you're out on the scene, you're meeting people, people will keep you in mind and they will think of you as the authority, the go-to, okay? So whenever they do need your services, they will reach out to you and say, hey, you still got your cleaning company? I got an opportunity for you, all right? So create that personal brand and put yourself out there. And that same, like all of these things that I'm mentioning is exactly what helped me grow Clean Business Network too, which is, like all of these same things, personal brand helped me with Clean Business Network too. Because if you didn't know who I was, it would have been a lot harder to pay this guy nineteen ninety seven for a starter kit if you don't even know who he is. Okay, so that personal brand is huge because once you get people to like, know, and trust you, then it's that much easier for them to uh, for them to buy with you. Okay, because they actually know who you are, they know who they're spending their money with, uh, and they feel like they can trust you. All right, so I would say. If you're serious about growing your business, the other thing I want to add, too, is do numbers. Do numbers, all right? Like, if, you, um, if you're not getting out there knocking on doors every single day, then you better be cold calling on that phone every single day, all right? Period. And that's for people who don't have an ad budget. If you have an ad budget, you need to be investing in Google Ads, all right? Put your money in Google Ads. Buy some leads from our lead generation service. Go to leads.cleanbiznetwork.com and let us set, up, set you up with walkthroughs, all right? We can get walkthroughs anywhere in the United States, all right? So go to cleanbiznetwork.com and use that method. Try thumbtack outs. Try your home advisor out. Try every single thing that you can think out there. But bottom line is take action. If you're serious about growing your cleaning company, you just got to take action. Point blank period. You got to get out there. You got to put yourself out there. I see a lot of y'all with private pages on Instagram like why if you a business owner why is anything that you have private on the internet you need to be putting yourself completely out there as possible if you have like a separate personal I don't know uh, Instagram or, or Facebook that you just want to com communicate with the people in your little small community and you want to keep that private okay that's fine if that's what you choose to do I really don't see the point in that either because we got to start thinking bigger the world is bigger than the little city that you're from, the little town that you're from, all right? You got to think bigger. You need to want to be seen if you want to get money. If you want to build a million-dollar company, multi-million-dollar company, billion-dollar company, we got to know who you are, okay? People got to know who you are, know who your company is, what your brand is, and that's how you build it. You got to be open to scrutiny, open to being uh, uh, misunderstood, talked about, you know, all of those things, all right? So that's it. 
Uh, just knock on ten doors a day, okay? Ten times five, that's fifty. Fifty times four week in a month, four weeks in a month, that's two hundred doors every single month that you knocked on. Out of those two hundred doors, you got to get at least one walkthrough. That's a free way to get walk at least one walkthrough every month. Another way to get a walkthrough every single month is just to buy one lead from lead from Clean Business Network every single month, and you guarantee one walkthrough every single month. Like the stuff is not that hard. And I just want to also point out too that if you're going to constantly really go in like this and look for customers, you need to be constantly be uh, recruiting people. All right, don't just be always looking for the customers. Make sure that you're taking applications too, so that way when you do win jobs, that you're not scrambling at the last minute like a chicken with his head cut off trying to figure out okay now how I'm gonna staff this thing. All right, and you're not stuck in there cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Because once you get stuck cleaning all the time, how are you going to run the business? How are you going to keep your books straight? How are you going to keep your paperwork in order? All right, how are you going to do any other things that's necessary for a business to do to thrive? All right. So that's really what it comes down to, man. If you want to grow your business, just take action. Bottom line. Bottom line. That's really all I got for y'all, man. Like, the same thing I do every day. You see me. What am I doing on social media every single day? I'm posting. I'm posting nonstop. I get so tired of posting that shit. I don't even like getting on social media. I get so tired of posting that stuff, but I know I have to do it to stay relevant, to continue to build that brand, to create that brand awareness, to uh, build my personal brand, all of that. All right? I have no desire whatsoever to be famous, but one thing I realized is you don't necessarily have to be famous to build a personal brand, okay? Think about uh, Grant Cardone, for example. Grant Cardone, who knows Grant Cardone other than entrepreneurs and business people? He's not famous, famous, okay? Ask your mom if she knows who Grant Cardone is, right? Ask one of your cousins that's not into business, do they know who that is? Ask them, do they know who Gary Vee is? Ask somebody in the, in the music industry that's not what well, people might know now because he just started building his personal brand. But a few years ago, nobody knew who Jay Prince was unless you were actually into this stuff, right? That's not fame. That's just a personal brand. That's what you want to build. So if you like me, where you like, well, I don't want to be famous. That's why I don't want everybody to follow me. Well, that, just because you got a lot of followers don't mean you're famous, all right? It's going to be a lot of people that don't know who you are. But you need every single person that could potentially buy from you to know who you are, okay? And that's going to be hundreds of thousands of people at least. So keep putting yourself out there, keep putting your business out there, and post every single day, y'all. I told y'all a while ago when a story about there was this guy, my Facebook friend, he's a general contractor. He will post the same flyer every single day on Facebook. And I saw it after a while, like I used to like it in the beginning, but after a while I got tired of it and just like, you know, whatever. I got immune to it almost. He posted it every single day. Then one day I needed a pressure washer for my uh, property that I had. And I'm like, okay, who can I call? Who do who do pressure wash? Like who can? Because I always try to think of somebody that I know first, which is another reason why you need to get known. Because what do people do when they need a the service? They try to think of somebody they know first. But anyway, so I tried to think of somebody that I know first, and I couldn't think of anybody. So I was about to go Google, you know, companies that do pressure washing in my area. Then bam, like clockwork, he posted his flyer. It had pressure washing services on it, and I hit him up. All right, so that's the important. He got zero likes on that post every single day, even from me. Yet I hit him up for his service, all right? So make sure you post every single day because you never know who's looking. All right, so post every single day. Knock on doors every single day. Cold call on the phone every single day. Spend some advertising budgets on Google ads, Facebook ads, and any other ads that you can pay for if you got the budget to. Use a lead generation service if you got to. And that's pretty much it. Take action. LinkedIn ads also, look into those. Post on LinkedIn, that's, and that's another thing too. We're in the service industry, all right? Think about the industry that you're in too. So you might not post on, let's say, Facebook every single day, but Instagram can get you some traffic with a bunch of before and after pictures, all right? And LinkedIn can get you some traffic because who's up there? Professionals. People with professional jobs. And what type of accounts do we typically service? Okay? The type of buildings that these people work at. Post up there. Share some knowledge. Don't just keep promoting your service. Build a brand by giving value. That's what I do every single day up here. I give, 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 give. I got over 700 videos on YouTube. Giving, 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 giving. If I was paid by the hour, <laughs> I wouldn't make too much because I put out, I give away so much material. 
And then finally I asked for the fail later. And I might get a few fails here and there, right? And that's how it works, okay? So you gotta get up there and give, explain, get on YouTube and just write some articles, okay? I mean, not YouTube, but uh, LinkedIn and write some articles, all right? Share why you shouldn't be using bleach because it's hazardous to your health and provide some alternatives. Somebody got some time at the office, they're just browsing through and they're gonna read it. And if you keep doing it every single day, after a while, people will look at you as the authority and they might hit you up when they need that service, all right? Or they'll share it to somebody else and then somebody else might hit you up. Another thing is YouTube. YouTube, again, y'all y'all see, obviously, that helped my business tremendously, all right? Get up there and grow it. Maybe you won't talk about cleaning every day. Do some videos like the one you see on the screen. See how I'm walking through, showing how I inspect my properties? Do, um, excuse me, my accounts? Do that. Get on, on YouTube, post YouTube videos, and show some examples of uh, your crew out there with their, with their shirts on, with their logo, you know what I mean? Loading up the truck with your equipment, just post it. Showing how y'all get detailed cleaning and, and, you know, cleaning out certain things. Post this stuff, all right? Share it all day long. That's all you want to do. And on your business cards and on your marketing material, your flyers and everything when you're passing them out, have your Instagram and your Facebook logos up there. Have all your social media, your YouTube channel. Tell them where they can follow you at, all right? Show them why you are better than the rest. Make sure your website is up to date. Make sure you're listed on Google. All right? And, and, I ch and, and now the starter kit uh, in includes how to create a website. So I included website creation now in the starter kit course. So there's no excuse no more. So if you want the full starter kit, you'll, know, you'll have a website now. Or if you just want the starter kit course, you'll know how to create a website now. All right? So go to cleanbiznetwork.com if you're ready to get started. If you can get the starter kit, you can get the starter kit course. And if you already got your company and you're just trying to grow, check out our lead generation service and buy some leads from us. So that's what I got for y'all. AJ Simmons, thank y'all for watching. Talk to y'all soon.